Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to attempt to set numerous guitar world records. Why am I doing some of these absurd stunts, you may ask? Is it for the thrill of the chase? Is it for fame and glory? Or is it because I have nothing better to do with my life? The answer would be all of the above. Now some of these things are going to be a little bit dangerous. Fortunately, Skillshare has agreed to sponsor this video, so if I injure myself, I'll be able to pay my healthcare insurance deductible. Just kidding, I live in Canada. If I'm being honest, everything I'm doing in this video is totally useless, but Skillshare offers courses on the opposite end of that spectrum. It's an online learning community for creators with over 25,000 classes and countless practical things from music to cooking. I watched Knife Skills 101 the other day and now I can cut onions with the best of them, which is great because as a guitarist, I no longer run the risk of chopping off my money makers. Premium membership gives you unlimited access and an annual subscription is very affordable, costing less than $10 a month. And the first 500 of you to use the link in the description will get a two month free trial. All right, let's set some records. The first record I'm gonna attempt is the world's fastest restring. As far as I can tell, this was done in two minutes and eight seconds on an acoustic. I'll link to the videos of people setting these records in the description. Over to my workbench, hit the timer, and then let's go. Time. Well, I missed that one by a bit, but you know what? I'm not gonna let that discourage me. I've got a fresh set of strings on my acoustic and plenty more chances to make history today. The next record I'm gonna attempt to set is the world's largest guitar ensemble. Now I'm seeing some conflicting reports on this one. Guinnessbookofworldrecords.com has it listed at 6,346 people who play guitar at the same time at the Jimmy Festival in Poland. However, there's a guy in the comment section who says that this record was broken and it's now 7,411 people. And if I've learned anything from my time on the internet, it's that people in the comment sections never lie. Either way, I'm gonna to need to enlist some help for this one. Hey, Jenny? Yeah? Can you come here for a second, please? I'm trying to create the world's largest guitar ensemble. Can you play with me? What are you talking about? I don't play guitar. All right, came up a little bit short on that one too, but enough joking around, it's time to get serious. This next one is another verified Guinness World Record set by Anna Malik, who spun a basketball on her guitar while playing Vance Joy's Riptide for 13.23 seconds. I'm gonna play something else to avoid getting a copyright claim, but 13 seconds seems manageable. Here we go. Okay, so obviously this isn't working out. However, I don't think it was specified how you have to spin the basketball on the guitar. Yeah, that's harder than it looks. Apparently, I'm gonna need to rely on my guitar playing skills, so let's do something musical here. As far as I can tell, Daniel Kurt Himbach holds the record for playing guitar faster than anyone else. In September of 2012, he played Flight of the Bumblebee at a whopping 170 beats per minute. I don't know that song, so I'm gonna try doing Paganini's Perpetual Motion at that tempo. All right, that's 170 beats per minute. That's pretty fast. Let's see if I can do it. To get warmed up, I'll do eighth notes, though this song uses 16th notes. Feeling good, getting a little fat and sassy. Let's try this with 16th notes. Okay, so update to this one. He started out the video playing at 170 beats per minute and gradually worked up to 1,300 beats per minute. There also seems to be some kid who did this at 1,600 beats per minute. I will gracefully accept defeat on this one. And another fun fact, apparently Guinness actually retired this record at 340 beats per minute because after certain speeds, the attempts can't be verified no matter how much the videos are slowed down. Okay, this next one is definitely within the realm of possibility. The most guitar picks inserted into a guitar neck in 30 seconds is 34. And let me tell you, finding this many guitar picks was in itself quite the task. I had to scour the darkest corners of the house. But look at that delightful treasure trove of plectorum. I've got 35 picks here. I'm gonna stick them all under the strings and if I do it in under 30 seconds, I got it. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh. 
All right, well, I got most of them in. I suspect that was over 30 seconds. It's been a tough day for old Sammy G. I mean, how do people even come up with this stuff? If you're at home trying to figure out how many articles of clothing you can fit on your guitar, there are better ways to spend your time. Use the link in the description, get a free trial of Skillshare and learn an actual skill. I mean, even some of the weirder classes, like the basics of floral resin jewelry, have more of a practical application than seeing how long you can balance a guitar on your forehead for. On that note, let's see if I can play a guitar while doing a headstand for longer than a minute and 34 seconds. Surprise, surprise, not even f***ing close. This video is a complete disaster. I have picks all over the floor. There's a basketball here, my head hurts. I need to go in a different direction. The record for the most expensive guitar ever sold at auction is the Reach Out to Asia Stratocaster, which sold for a whopping $2.7 million. It was part of a charity auction to raise money for that 2004 tsunami in Southeast Asia, and it was signed by the rock and roll elite like Eric Clapton, Keith Richards, and Tony Iommi. So I'm gonna put up one of my guitars on eBay for $2,700,001 to see if I can beat this. I'm not going to put my telly on there because I love it too much. Sorry, Black Strat, we've had some good times, but it's time for you to go to a better place. Okay, I've whipped up a listing, 1988 Modified American Strat. Previously owned by internet personality and potential Guinness World Record holder, Samurai Guitarist. It was purchased for $350 13 years ago and is now being sold for $2.7 million and $1. That's some crazy appreciation and value. Imagine what it'll be worth in 13 years. Buyer pays shipping. We'll check back in a few weeks, see how she goes. And last for today, I'm gonna to attempt to ride a unicycle while playing guitar. The record is two minutes and 19 seconds. Let's go outside. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this next attempt. I've been unicycling my entire last two hours, so I feel like I stand a chance. I've got a bunch of cameras set up to capture this. I've got you over there, the GoPro up here, the drone back there. Let's see what we can do. I gotta do this for seven minutes to set a world record. Wish me luck. Okay, here we go. Got a good feeling about this one. Whoa. It's not getting better than that. That's it, I'm done. Well, those are my attempts to set guitar world records. I did not succeed seven times and have one record still pending. This may seem like an abject failure, but you know what? I would disagree. I looked and I can't find anyone who's posted a YouTube video of seven failed guitar world records. So that in itself is a record. You were looking at the guy who made the video of the most failed guitar world records. I'll be waiting for my plaque in the mail, Guinness. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Let's chalk that one up as a win. Remember, there is a two month free trial to Skillshare for the first 500 of you to use the link in the description. If you'd like to see another video like this one, hit that link up there. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for regular musical content. I'm world record holder, Samurai Guitarist. Thank you all for watching and I will see you again soon. All right, well, let's see you do it better then. Oh, that's not even fair. <laughs>